This year's 2010 North American International Auto Show in Detroit became the electric car show due to the dozens of EVs or electric vehicles on display. You know, one of the things we're seeing here at the Detroit Auto Show in 2010 is the furthering of electrification. Some alternative fuels have been discussed. Hydrogen was brought up. Uh, diesel certainly comes up. But boy, it's about hybrids and, and uh, all electric uh, hybrid plug-ins, uh, any variation of the electrification of the automobile. Hyundai announced their gas electric hybrid Blue Will. Toyota introduced the FTCH hybrid, and Cadillac's XTS Platinum Concept was a plug-in hybrid. All electric vehicles included the BMW Active E Concept, the Mini E, and Audi's e-tron. But does all that electricity mean we'll soon have a wide selection of EVs to choose from? It's easy to put a car on the stand, cram it full of lithium-ion batteries and an electric motor and say, here's our electric car, it's ready to go. You can even demonstrate it on the road, but getting that to where it's production ready, all of that requires a long development period. The Volt is, uh, has been baking in the oven, if you will, for uh, almost three years now. It's about production ready. Lutz says the Chevrolet Volt has another advantage over its newer EV competitors a range-extending gas engine which kicks in when the Volt's battery gets low, generating electricity to recharge the batteries, adding up to 300 miles of range. I'm Chris Hansen.